Well, we're going to be tracking some severe weather today across parts of Florida and also the mid-Atlantic states, but an enhanced risk of severe weather near Tampa and Fort Myers for the potential of tornadoes and damaging winds. We're also going to be watching heavy rain spread throughout the East Coast and even into the Northeast with some flood concerns up and down the uh, eastern seaboard. So for today, we have an enhanced risk of severe weather through central Florida out near Tampa, Fort Myers. Again, large shale is not necessarily the primary concern, but uh, damaging winds and tornadoes even up into the eastern portions of North and South Carolina. Tomorrow, just some general thunderstorms, but still some areas of heavy rain. So again, later this afternoon, we have that severe weather threat as that main line of thunderstorms rolls through and then that wraparound moisture continues. Friday. Total amounts of rainfall could be approaching one to near four inches. And again, that could have some uh, implications in terms of flooding. National Weather Service has flood watches and flash flood watches uh, from Florida all the way up into Maine and the northern New England states. Flood concerns continue in Boston, New York, Philly, down to D.C. If you do have travel plans over the next 36 to maybe even 48 hours, certainly going to have some impacts on the roadways here, but some one to maybe three inch tallies possible. And on the back side of that, may see some snowfall in the high elevations, especially, and also in the eastern Great Lakes region. So off to the northwest we go, where some winter weather advisories continue along with that. High wind and Seattle under a high wind warning for tonight could see some near 50 mile per hour winds and that could have some uh, impacts on your air traveling there, especially later on today and early tomorrow morning. But there will be some snow in the high elevations, rain along the coast, maybe a half an inch in Seattle, Portland and Medford. At least the severe weather threat has uh, been um, eliminated, which is good after that tornado in the Seattle uh, suburbs, uh, but that ridge of high pressure keeps us pretty warm in the southwest here today with temperatures warming into the 70s in Los Angeles and Phoenix.